Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover our good old uh, six star units that got their seven star awakening. Uh, we're gonna go over Dark Knight Cecil, Lunet, Gilgamesh and Dark Fina. Uh, we're just gonna cover the new abilities and also their new super TMR that they got. So if you guys have dupes of those characters, well here's what you guys might get with uh, fusing them one into the other. So Without further ado, let's go with Dark Knight Cecil. So if you guys wonder, is a TMR, if you didn't know, Deathbringer, this thing is really, really good. Uh, Man Eater and uh, 120 Greatswords with Dark Element on it. And the Super TMR, almost like a Buster style. So increase attack by 30%, incre increase the equipment attack by 100% when single wielding a one-handed weapon, and increase attack, uh, increase accuracy, sorry, by 25% when single wielding a one weapon. So that's a super TMR, really good stuff, uh, pretty nice, especially with the increase in 30% on attack, that thing is really, really good. Since in the future, yes, we will get a cap of 400%. I did some research, we don't have that 400% cap yet, but we will get it in the future. So uh, let's go down and see his abilities that he got. We're gonna go over the first one. Uh, Omni Omnius Aura, recover HP and MP 50% to one ally, mitigate damage taken 50% for one turn to one ally. Uh, this is actually not bad, especially if you want to boost your tank or something's happening. Uh, one of your characters is uh, in dear, dear help for uh, help for something. Uh, this thing's actually not that bad, but coming from a big damage dealer, uh, I was kind of expecting something a little bit better and uh, maybe something to boost the attack or anything else like that. But still, nonetheless, a uh, pretty nice move is uh, Soul Over. So it's his uh, ability with a cooldown. So it's a five turn cooldown. You can do it on turn one. Increase physical damage against humans by 100% for three turns to caster physical damage 13 times to one enemy. It's 99 MP. Uh, really nice. If you have Deathbringer, on him, you get that extra 50% man eater. If you have Diablos, it's another 50% man eater. So he's at 200% right there with uh, the soul over. And if you give him, let's say, man eater plus, you're gonna boost his damage by a lot. So that thing is really, really nice, especially if you're fighting human bosses. Uh, this thing is actually pretty, pretty cool. Just a lot of damage, but you gotta make sure that because he's a dark paladin, he's gonna use a lot of his HP to do some attacks. So make sure that you can heal up. And uh, yeah, keep him alive. So we're gonna go over his traits. If you equip him with the Deathbringer, you're gonna increase his attack by 20%. You're gonna increase his equipment attack by 100% when single wielding a weapon. Increase accuracy by 25% when single wielding a one-handed weapon. And increase dark resistance by 25%. So if you give him his TMR and his super TMR, he's gonna get a massive buff in attack. So 50% right there, plus another 200% in the double ends um double end if you give him another double end the material is now at 250 percent so things can go really really high he can get a lot of attack so that thing looks really really nice arrow of death man i wish i had my dark knight cecil and maybe a dupe just to give it to just to get a seven star so uh next one at uh, level 115 you're gonna get a 20 percent increase in spr which is not that bad but pretty good and at level 120 by giving him a lot of cactuars, you get an increase in attack and magic by 50%. Increase physical and magic damage against human by 50%. So here's another man eater uh, passive abilities. And increase attack and HP by 20% when equipped with a great sword. So this guy does a lot of damage. Uh, he looks really, really good. But that thing is, you need to use him as a big finisher. But if you are fighting a human boss or a human in the raid or something like that, building up that chain and just hitting with this guy will do tons and tons of damage. We're going to go over his uh, limit burst. Shadowbringer maxed out at level 120. Uh, well, when he's at level 120 on 7 star. Dark physical damage, 11.5 times multiplier with HP sacrifice 20% to all enemies. So he's going to sacrifice 20% of HP and he's going to hit all the enemies with one big solid hit. It's only 18 crisp, but let's be honest, if you're going to do his big move, Dark Cannon is the way to go. Decrease the uh, imperil. Uh, you actually decrease Dark Resistance by 50%. Uh, I think it's 100%, right? I want to make sure... What I'm saying is right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think it's right here. Is it here? 
yeah right here so soul eater that thing is really really solid do a lot of damage so if you're fighting a human boss he does a lot of damage uh mr dark knight cecil just because you look cool and badass you get a thumbs up my friend seven star looks really really cool moving on to the next one we're gonna grow right here mr lunette is making a comeback so his tmr was really really good celestial gloves attack 30 defense 30 magic 30 spirit 30 it's all raw stats it's not percentage way uh base so that thing is really really cool then you get lunette's clothes that's a super tmr attack 45 it's a piece of clothing defense and spirit one which is okay and let's see if i can get this right here yeah uh memories of the wind basically increase uh fire water wind and earth resistance by 30 percent so this thing is really really solid just if you need to uh let's say build your bosh or awaken rain uh to make it more uh resistance against uh element based attack lunet's close is really really good uh that 45 attack is no joke, plus the increase in fire, water, wind, and earth resistance by 30% is really, really solid. Uh, of course, he has an 8 dual wield, which is really good for him. His new move that he gets at 7 star, at level 105, Blade Torrent, physical damage 4 times, multiplier with consecutive use uh, increases 3 times, so you basically boost it up. Every time you use that move, you get an extra 2, two stacks of damage, up to 10 times max to one enemy uh default attack it's 54 mp so on the first turn you're gonna do four times the damage uh, uh four time multiplier sorry on the second turn six time multiplier third turn eight and fourth turn ten times multiplier on the damage that thing is really really cool then we get shadow sword uh sword shower sorry opposite uh short sour uh short sw sword shower <sighs> so hard at level 110, it's a 3 turn cooldown available on turn 3, so you have to wait 3 turns before you can use it. Physical damage combo 8 times, 1.8 uh, times multiplier on each hit to up to a 14.4 times multiplier to random enemies. If you are fighting a single unit, He's gonna hate. Uh, he's gonna hate it. He, first, he's gonna hate it for real, uh, and then he's gonna hit it a lot of times to do a lot of damage. But uh, the only thing is you're gonna need a second lunat friend to do the same thing That's their kind of combo chaining move where uh, if you're fighting one enemy He's just gonna hit at the same time all the time and that's how you're gonna build up that chain But other than that uh, Pretty cool move, but the fact that he's only able to chain with himself kinds of uh, Kinds of killed it a little bit, but the super TMR is really really solid. Uh, let's go over a straight so the second you give him the celestial glove master freelancer increase hp attack defense by 20 percent and upgrade is limit burst so we're gonna go over his limit burst after level 115 increase in spr 20 percent uh then level 120 eternal wind increase equipment attack 30 percent when dual wielding so that's pretty cool uh so the second you give him dual wield which is yes he has in this kit by the way uh if you guys didn't know uh, you boost his attack by 30%, so the equipment attack by 30%, it's almost like a true double end, but now it's a, we're gonna call it the true dual wield, that's the new thing that we're gonna get here on the, the 7 star meta, and increase LB gauge 2 per turn, which is really, really cool, we're gonna go over the upgraded version of his, um, of his limit burst, sorry, physical damage, 13.5 times multiplier to one enemy, it's a one hit move, only 18 crist, which is really cool, Decreases defense by 74%, so he's like lightning uh, for 3 turns to 1 enemy. Then he decreases fire, water, wind, earth resistance by 74% for 3 turns to 1 enemy. And recovers 100% of MP to himself, uh, which is really, really sweet. So his limit burst actually got really, really good. That 74% uh, debuff on uh, defense is really good. Plus, you're going to imperil uh, 4 elements on uh, his limit burst, and it's only 18 crisps. Yeah, I'll take that. So Lunet, you might be able to chain with yourself only, but your limit burst and your super TMR made yourself a lot better. So good job, Lunet. Keep going, and you're going to kill a lot of people. Moving on to the next one. We're going to go over Gilgamesh. Uh, what can I say about Gilgamesh? Nothing super special. His TMR was really good. The Genji Glove gives you dual wield and attack and magic 10%. Is uh, super TMR, the Genji Elm. 45 on attack defense and sp uh, defense 15 spirit 2 resistance to dark 30% and paralyze can uh, nullify uh, 
confuse and petrify so he resists all those three things which is really really good especially on your damage dealers you want to be you want them to be able to not get status ailments or stuff like that so genji elm really really good so if you have plenty of him myself i'm only missing one to get that genji elm but uh, if you do have a lot of him, go for it. His super TMR is actually really, really good, especially if you don't have a uh, Prish or a Dragoon, a Toning Dragoon Cane. That 45 on attack for Helm is really, really good. Uh, we're going to move on to his uh, new abilities. So on turn, at level 105, sorry, on turn 1. Uh, so it's a 5 turn cooldown available on turn 1. Gains access to the following ability for one time, uh, for one turn. Fighting all of, uh, fighting all four of you so that's his first move so he's gonna get a lot of things where he's gonna be able to just unlock a new ability and do stuff like that uh then he gets at level 110 he's gonna get three moves secret sword art excalibur fixed damage uh one to one enemy and decrease attack defense magic and spirit 55 percent for three turns to one enemy it's a seven hit move uh not that bad actually so you're going to be able to decrease uh, attack, defense, and magic, and spirit by 55%. It's a really strong uh, break move, but it's you're only going to do one damage. But you're not there to do the damage. You're basically there just to break uh, your opponent. Then he's going to get Secret Sword Art uh, Kotetsu. Physical damage 5.5 to one enemy. Negates two physical damage taken for three turns to caster, which is an okay move. Then he's going to get Secret Sword Art Naginata. I know my Japanese is getting really better. Uh, increase LB gauge 3 to 5 to all allies. That move's actually not that bad, especially if you're trying to build your LB gauge for a lot of your units, like let's say uh, CG Nicole, or uh, even, well, he's the breaker, but let's say CG Lid, and you want to be, uh, you want to do a strong break on uh, all the uh, all the stats. Uh, that thing's actually really, really good. Then moving on to the next one. This is where things get interesting, because he gets a lot of things right here. Uh, so his traits... Level 101, so if you give him the Genji Gloves, you're going to increase his uh, equipment attack by 30% when dual wielding, and you're going to upgrade his Limit Burst, so he's going to get the same thing as uh, what Lunet just before. Then at level 105, Secret Hero Art, increase modifier on the following skill, Snow Petal and Tri Attack, and you get LB Gauge uh, Crist 1, so you basically pop that LB Gauge by 1. Then he's going to get Collectors. Uh, short swords, swords, and large sword. Increase fire resistance by 50% when equipped with a dagger, sword, or great sword. Increase physical and magic damage against beast by 75% when equipped with a dagger, sword, or great sword. So he's going to get a lot of uh, killer abilities in this kit. Then he's going to get collector katanas. Increase ice resistance by 50% when equipped with a can uh, katana. Increase physical and magic damage against humans 75% when equipped with a katana. Uh, collector stabs and rods so the second you equip him with that he's gonna get increased wind resistance by 50% then he's gonna get increased physical and magic damage against demons by 75% not that bad uh, then he's gonna get bows and instrument increase water resistance by 50% increase physical and magic damage against undead 75% collector axes and hammer and maces increase earth resistance by 50% and increase physical and magic damage against stone monsters by 75%. But wait, there's more. Collector of Spears. Increase light resistance by 50% and increase physical and magic damage against dragons by 75%. We got two more, guys. Collector Whips and Fists. Increase lightning resistance by 50% when equipped with a whip or fist. Uh, increase physical and magic damage against mechanical monsters 75%. And last one. Collectors guns and uh, throwing weapon increase dark resistance by 50 percent when equipped with a throwing weapon or a gun and increase physical and magic damage against birds by 75 percent so if you're able to give him one of those things and he could do a lot of damage especially if you uh we're gonna go over his limit burst because he gets a move where he's also able to chain with uh, the orlando family uh, so if you do get one of those things is killer passives are really really high 75% is really really strong uh, He has a really good break These things are looking really good. It just takes a little bit of time to build That's the only problem with um, I was gonna call him Genji with Gilgamesh It just takes a little bit of time to build because you don't get access to his uh, Kind of divine ruination move right off the bat. So we're gonna go over his last thing Genji mastery 
In increase HP, MP, attack, defense, magic, and spirit 15% when equipped with a Genji Blade, Genji Glove, Genji Shield, Genji Elm, Genji Armor, or Genji Armor Replica. So that thing is really good. You give him the Genji Blade, bam, you get 15% on all stats. So that thing is really, really cool. Good job, Gilgamesh. You're getting a lot better. But let's go over his things. So fighting... Fighting all four of you, before I get it wrong again, increased defense by 300% for three turns to caster, enables access to the following ability, it's just too tough for me. So we're going to go over down, uh, increase SPR 300% for one turn, it's going to give you another one, not high, I lied, then that's going to recover HP and MP 100% for uh, to caster, physical damage 15 times with jump delay, so he's going to jump up in the air, when he comes down, 15 times multiplier, really strong move. Uh, especially if you guys give him a spear or something and you're fighting a dragon he could do a little bit more damage then he's gonna get secret sword uh art excalibur uh, excalibur so that's gonna be activated by his uh gilgamesh transform so the second you do his limit burst this is what you're gonna get access to light physical damage 7.8 times to one enemy there you go guys that's the orlando chain right here 70 77 all that stuff i just want to make sure something here just want to make sure of something uh yeah it's this one right here so all right so the second you do i just want to make sure uh the second you do the uh gilgamesh transform so right here is um limit burst you're gonna get access for four turns to these things you're gonna increase his attack defense magic and spr by 120 percent for five turns uh it's good but it's nothing crazy since cg nicole 134 percent on the limit burst and him he's only boosting himself up uh you're gonna get access to all of these so right here, uh, you can do Divine Ruination Chain. You're going to get physical damage 4.5 times to all enemy, decrease resistance to all elements, 60% for 3 turns. It's really good. So that Imperil is really solid to all elements. Uh, dark Hybrid Damage after Secret of uh, Muramasa. Muramasa, yeah. Dark Hybrid Damage 15.2 times to one enemy. It's a 5 hit move. Then he's going to get Zan Tensuken. Instant KO, 35% chance, or dead physical damage, uh, deal physical damage 6 times to all enemies. Uh, so, like I said, it takes a little bit of time to build. Uh, getting that limit burst up, it's 26 crystals, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So, on the first turn, you're not going to be able to do a lot of things. His killer is uh, his passive and killer abilities are really, really strong. Uh, he gets a lot of damage. You can build him up really fast, especially with his Genji stuff. Uh, but the only thing is he's just gonna take too long to build and sometimes fight yeah they're good uh, his break is really solid but you have other characters that can do break they could do other things support your team and uh, for me uh, he's a cool unit but uh, if they would have given him the uh, the chaining move uh, right off the bat I think it would have been a better thing but nonetheless still interesting you guys can use him uh, I'm sure he could do a lot of damage this guy could do a lot of damage, but for me, uh, more chances of seeing him on your friends list is going to be really, really low. Uh, you're going to see a lot more Orlando 7-star, obviously, because you can use him right off the bat with Divine Ruination. Uh, eventually, even Lightning. Lightning is really solid. The fact that she can chain with Titus now uh, is really good. Gilgamesh, you look really good, but uh, you're not going to cut it for me. You still got my 7-star. I still got you 7-star because you look good. And uh, I want to start building up those 7 star unit as fast as possible. So Gilgamesh, uh, good unit, but just takes a little bit too much time to build and to do damage. Moving on to the next one, Dark Fina. I know this video is taking a little bit longer. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and you find this video helpful, please leave a like down below. Leave some comments in the comment section. Tell me which one of you guys, uh, which one of you guys, which one of these units is the one that you're going to awaken to seven star uh the most you want to play with oh my god that conversation went nowhere forget about what i just said let's move on to dark fina uh we're gonna go over tmr dark bond so increase magic by 30 percent with equipped with a rob uh robe and increase magic by 20 percent when equipped with a rod so if you get a robe and a rod uh you basically get an increase in 50 percent on magic or super tmr is really solid so it's a piece of a uh, it's a cloth, uh, a cloth. This video is going for way too long. Uh, it's a robe, uh, defense 30, magic 72, 
Spirit 72 MP plus 30%. So the first three, it's all raw stats. Then she's going to get resistance to sleep, paralyze, and she's going to get auto refresh, recovers 5 MP per turn. Uh, that super TMR is really strong. Uh, here's one thing she takes light damage, all right? So she's in peril 50% to light. So if you're fighting a boss that does light damage, maybe don't bring her, especially if you don't have an AoE magic cover tank. Uh, we're going to go over her moves right here. So at level 105, 7 star, uh, 2 turn cooldown available on turn 2. Earth magic damage 8.5 times uh, multiplied to all enemy. Decrease earth resistance 60% for 3 turns to all allies. It's an 8 move, uh, 8 hit move. Then she's going to get Boreas Gale, 2 turn cooldown available on turn 2. Wind magic damage 7.6 times to all enemies and decreases wind resistance by 60% for 3 turns to all allies. She's going to have Flirt, Inflict Charm 20% for 1 turn to 1 enemy. Uh, you're not going to be really able to charm the bosses, but still, could be good in the arena. Then she's going to she's gonna get Infer Wall. Increase Magic and SBR 100% for 3 turns to all allies. Increase Fire, Wind, Earth and Dark Resistance 70% for 3 turns to all allies. So this buff right here is actually really, really good. Uh, this is really good support. Uh, especially that magic and SPR 100%. So on turn one, bam, you can do just do that and then start building up your stuff that you need. Then she's gonna have Lost Paradise. It's a 10 turn cooldown available on turn one. So it's almost like Seabreeze Dark Fina. She's gonna decrease dark resistance by 120% for eight turns to all enemies. Auto revive 80% for eight turns to caster. Increase magic by 150% for eight turns to caster and refresh MP. Uh, 180 MP split over 8 turns to the caster so this thing is really really good if you're bringing let's say a Dark Knight Cecil and you're fighting a human and you have Deathbringer on him 120% uh, imp imperil on Dark you're gonna do a lot of damage so if you can combo the, uh, Dark Fina and Dark Knight Cecil a lot of damage can be done on humans uh, so this move is actually really really good especially it's available on turn 1 so uh, yeah Lost Paradise pretty solid then she's going to get Occult Magic when you equip her with her own TMR. Increase Magic by 50% and HP by 30%. Increase Dark Resistance by 50% and increase Magic and SPR 30% when equipped with a whip. And the good thing is we got this whip right here that is a really, really good whip. So if you guys beat Malboro, don't forget about this whip right here. Attack 20, Magic 118. And uh, you're going to get Malboros Cursed. Increased magic damage dealt uh, against demons and plants. So that thing is really, really good. So you just equip her with that. Bam! You get an extra 30% in magic and spirit with a good whip. Then, at level 110, Rising Nemesis. Chance to counter physical attack. 50% chance with uh, Rising Nemesis. Decrease SPR 50% for 3 turns to all enemies. And decrease dark resistance. 100% for 3 turns to all enemies. So that thing is really, really good. Her chance of countering is really high. Uh, so that thing is actually pretty nice. Then, at level 20, yes, she doesn't get spirit 20%. She gets increase in magic 20%. So she's going to do even more magic damage. Then she's got uh, demonic nature, increase defense and spirit 25%. Increase equipment magic 50% when single wielding any weapon. Increase equipment magic 50% when dual wielding. And increase modifier on the following skill. Dystopia. She's going to do a lot more damage with that move. Then we're going to go over the uh, magic she gets. And this is where she shines. This is where she comes She comes back in the meta. Uh, a new tornado. She can chain with uh, Barbarisha. She can chain with Chantoto. With Lexa. And even uh, pure Summoner Kid Rydia. Then she has Quake, where she's gonna be able to uh, chain with uh, what's his name, William. So here is your chance. She can now chain with other characters. Uh, Ultima got a lot better. She has a lot of magic. The only thing that I wish she would have gotten also would have been Stanja and uh, Arioja, just to chain finish. But hey, we can't ask too much. Already, this is really really good. She has good support abilities for the uh, the team. And uh, her magic is going up really, really fast. So, yeah. And uh, we're going to go over a limit burst. L Judgment. Maxed out to level 30. Decreases ma uh, dark magic damage 5.25. With ignore SPR 50% to all enemies. It's an 8 hit move. Only 18 MP, uh, 18 crist. So, yeah. That thing you're going to get really fast. But you're not there for this. 
you're going to be there to, you know, dual cast that tornado or quake, uh, do a lot of damage, use dystopia, dark magic damage, uh, especially that you increase the modifier on it, becomes a lot better. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, she gets a lot of magic damage, uh, especially if you're fighting, uh, you give her the Malboro Whip and you're fighting demons or plant monsters. Well, here's a chance to do even more damage. So Dark Fina, Super TMR is really good. You have good pa passive abilities where you get a lot of magic increase and you're going to be able to support your team a little bit with her. So she gets a thumbs up. Uh, these four units, they're all pretty good. Uh, Gilgamesh just takes a little bit of time to build, but he's still really good. Lunet, uh, the only thing that kind of sucks is he's only chaining with him, but his super, super TMR is really good. And Dark Knight Cecil, same thing. Uh, just a strong finisher so if you guys want to do a raid boss or something you guys can bring him he's gonna do a lot of da uh, dark damage and uh, just getting that uh, imperil on dark is gonna be really strong especially for fighting humans if you're fighting humans this guy is a real killer guys if you did enjoy this video or you think I talked too much just leave a comment down below uh, please leave a like on this video subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.